I think it was one of the first applications that caused people to go, wow, if, if I install Linux, I get some tangible benefit from doing so, right? I mean, clearly there were a lot of interesting applications on Linux at, at, at the time, this being maybe two or three years ago when this thing really started to take off, but there wasn't a, a driving, you know, you could almost say business case for someone to use Linux versus using NT until, I think, Apache. And, and a lot of the things that plugged into Apache and, and, and enhanced Apache. I mean, when you went to go out, build, go out and build a server, farm, it was much more cost effective, cost effective, real dollar terms, to build it on Linux and Apache than it was to build it on IIS and NT, even if it meant that you had to spend a little bit of money to train your staff to learn how to use that or to find people who were knowledgeable. But the good news was that that knowledge wasn't very expensive because there are all these college students out there who had been using Linux for a long time and, and were very familiar with it. If you look at the trend curves in web servers, Apache has steadily been gaining in market share ever since. It's up to something like 66% now. It's steadily clobbered all of the closed source competition. And that's because it's more reliable, it's more flexible, it's more extensible. It does what webmasters actually need. And the combination of Apache and Linux found its way into a great many commercial shops. Essentially, Apache became the application that motivated internet service providers and e-commerce companies to choose Linux over Microsoft's Windows. It would probably run best on Linux and on FreeBSD.